Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. Today we are in Comfy UI and we uh, I want to introduce you a little bit to a workflow in uh, Comfy UI, how to use nodes, uh, what are some of the nodes, some basic uh, navigation, uh, how and how to navigate Comfy UI. If you did like this lesson, if you like me to continue explaining more about Comfy UI and how you can use it to generate images and actually there's also an API so that you can call uh, Comfy UI workflows from N8N or from Make as well. I will put some cool links in the description below for you. Uh, please check them out when you finish uh, the lesson. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm now in Comfy. So this is the main menu here. Uh, here we have the RAM and CPU, uh, how much uh, it's used. Uh, of course, I'm running this on a Mac, uh, on a MacBook Air, so the M1 version. Uh, so you might, it might be a little bit slow. Uh, so this is the canvas. Okay, so I can click and drag to pan over. I can do the uh, mouse uh, scroll to zoom in and zoom out. Of course, there are also here zoom in and zoom out and fit and everything you want from navigation. Here you can toggle the theme, of course, I don't know who uses this one, but uh, <laughs> the black version works best in this case. So I'm now in an unsaved workflow here. This is the run button. So when I have a workflow and I click this, it will run the workflow. All right, so of course here are the node, the model, I will get to these later. So how do I create a node? If I'm in here, how do I create a node? You can simply double click. If you double click, you get the preview of whatever node that you want to make here. And you also get to search here for the nodes. Okay, so let us start with uh, a basic node. Let us start with the, to load a checkpoint. Uh, so a, what is a checkpoint? So a checkpoint is, is like loading a model. Uh, so as you can see, I clicked on this one and then it uh, this node uh, appeared. So I can click and drag this node and I can use this corner to make it bigger or smaller. Now you cannot use this corner or this or this, okay? Only this one. And to uh, make this smaller and bigger, you click on this circle gray item in here and all here you can also, you can hit backspace to delete or you can use this, you can pin and you can even change the color of this node. All right, so I have this node called load checkpoint. And I was, as I was saying, a checkpoint, a checkpoint is a, it's like loading a model, like loading flux, uh, loading juggernaut, or loading whatever model that you would get from Civit AI, or Hugging Face, or, uh, or any other website. So here is where you load the models. Now you have to have models loaded in for you to, if you just installed Comfy UI, it will, heal, it will say undefined because it doesn't have any models to load. Now in order to load a model, you have to first download uh, the model and then go ahead into your Comfy UI folder uh, go to models and then checkpoints and inside that checkpoints folder just place in whatever models it will be dot safe tensors uh, as the extension just drag and drop that model in uh, here i'm using the juggernaut reborn which is a small smaller one that would run on my m1 uh, without giving me much trouble okay of course you can use other ones so as you can see i have this one i can click and drag and I can do whatever I want with it. Now, what do I want? So this one has model clip and VAE and, and they are, these are dots. And apparently I need to uh, link these to respective ones. So if I click and drag on the model, you can see this one, uh, the thread coming out. So in order to uh, select a model. So if I release and then I say add node, and here I can select whatever node I would need to uh, select, okay? Uh, but if if I want, for example, here it, it tells me the, the most uh, used one, the most uh, used uh, 
notes that you can that you can select or that you can uh, actually use okay so there's a case sampler case sampler advanced load laura and all of these ones that would connect to the model one easily okay uh, and if i click on the clip and i and i deselect here it tells me there's a click text encode and there's a clip set layer there's this laura loader and if i do the vae it tells me the vae decode and vae encode and all of that so it it also proposes uh, things for me to select for so let's go to the model and we choose case sampler and you can see here model goes to model right and then with the clip if i deselect and i say here it says one so clip and then the conditioning goes to positive and i should also create another one so that it is also the negative goes to the negative right it has to have both okay so now what do i have i have a, a one that um one that loads the checkpoint which is the model that connects to the case sampler is the case sampler as you can you can imagine it as where uh, as the chef that bakes the image right here you have model positive negative and latent image of course we need to still select this one because this one is still empty and here is the positive prompt and the negative prompt that we want and for the vae i need to select a uh, a vae either uh, a vae encode or a vae decode what the vae does is uh, we want a way to uh, transform uh, to, to transform and here if we go to latent also you can see here we can uh, VAE decode uh, the um, actually we can remove this and we will connect the VAE to here exactly and here now we can we will have an image and if you have an image we can just preview the image that we get or we can also save so now you have all of these nodes, one that connects to the model and one that does the clipping. The clipping is, is actually taking the model and saying what you want from it. Either, either positive, the positive, the stuff that you want, and then negative, the stuff that you don't want. And then all gets into the baking, uh, the chef of your image here. Uh, and then after the chef, you need to decode whatever the chef created into pixels so th this this one transforms this to pixels and then here you can see the image we still have this one called latent image so what we need to do here is we need to create an empty latent so what is an empty latent it's like uh, when you when you create a pizza you have these metal uh, circle things that you put the pizza in and here we have the same concept here we're providing a canvas for the baker to put everything in it uh, imagine this is an artist you give him the canvas and then you he can fill this canvas in with whatever image and this is what the empty latent image we're starting from scratch we're not starting from an already existing image we're giving it an empty canvas so that it can fill it up with whatever it wants so now what we will do is i will go to uh, chat gpt and i will uh I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to create a prompt for me, so I can um, so I can put it here. Uh, I could I can just say I want a prompt for ConfUI to create blah 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 blah, right? Whatever you want. I'm gonna create a building here, so I'm gonna go here and paste whatever uh, it gave me, and then I also it also gives me the negative prompt as well. So as you can see here, I have. Uh, I have the clipping, okay? This clips the model with whatever I want, then feeds it into the artist. We give it a canvas to so that it fills the canvas, and then we transform that canvas into pixels and then into an image so that we can see the actual image, okay? So the image that we set here is a width of 512 and 512. Uh, I don't put it so big so that we don't have any issues with the RAM. So now let's try and run this and see if it all works. So the first thing is it will try to load the model. It will take some time because this model is four gigabytes, I think, or two. 
then after it loads the model, it will clip it and then it will go to the artist or the chef that creates the image. We're giving it an empty canvas to fill it up. And then it will, after that, it will decode and it will show us the image. Of course, there's a progress bar here that shows us uh, where we are, okay? I'm gonna pause so that uh, you guys don't have to wait. All right, so now uh, we have the image generated, as you can see here. <clears throat> it's just a beautiful image of a modern architectural building uh, where while well, it's snowing. So it's just a very, very beautiful image. Uh, so uh, of course, uh, it went through every node and it got me this image. So now see how simple and beautiful it is. Now this is a workflow <clears throat> that it could be triggered as much as you want and you can get as much variations as you want. And this, you could uh, you could save this workflow by save as or by exporting. Uh, and once you export, uh, you, you will get a JSON file that you can import as well. Uh, you can open and then you will have the same one uh, that you can also work with. I will include the link for this workflow for you guys to uh, test with and use and change the prompt or, uh, uh, no matter how you want and you can add stuff so you can have even uh, other things that you can uh, experiment with. Uh, all right, so if you did like this lesson, give it a like. It will show me a sign that you like uh, me doing more uh, lessons on Comfy UI. I know it seems intimidating at first, but it's quite simple and it's quite strong. You can even do videos in uh, Comfy UI. It's very, very expandable and it connects with an 8N and make as well very uh, easily. I will do more lessons in the future if you guys like uh, these kind of lessons. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, give it a like, subscribe for more videos and I see you in the next lesson.